Well, hello loves and happy Sunday to you. Um, I am here in my studio and it has been a, a crazy, crazy week. Um, we are just finishing up birthday week. You'll see this a couple weeks after. I kind of do my videos early, but we're just finishing up our birthday week and it's always wonderful and crazy all at the same time. We've worked really hard and I just want to say thank you. Thank you for all your orders um, and all of that. So I am just so, so grateful every year. Every year I'm so grateful. Um, so today, as we have come through this really busy week, um, I just didn't have any ideas for what to do for Sunday Inspiration. And um, I've kind of been sharing a lot lately about some of my, my ways of finding inspiration, my ways of taking away fear when I create. That was last week. Um, and so today I want to talk about another way that I find inspiration or get ideas um, to create. And it's, it's just one of the simplest things um, ever. And sometimes simple is the best. Sometimes I, I don't know about you, but sometimes I overcomplicate things. <laughs> Most of the time I overcomplicate it. Um, but so in the mornings, the morning time is one of my best times, my, probably my best creative time. Um, but it's also the time I kind of have a routine where I come in into the office and I'll sit down and I will pull out a journal and a book. Um, usually I'm, I'm reading something um, and if I'm not reading something I'm taking a look at quote, inspirational books, all that kind of stuff. But sometimes I just need to not think. I just need some headspace, and that was this week. This week I'd had, I have a lot of deadlines, with a lot of orders, it was just, it was madness at some points, but, um, so I didn't want to necessarily write in my journal, or read, or anything like that. I just wanted to kind of show up in my space, and um, not think too hard. And so what, when I'm like that, what I typically do is I will pull out a couple of my um, wonderful, like, uh, I have all kinds of just fun quote books and inspirational books, but not anything in depth, like not a uh, deep dive personally, just happy quotes or good quotes with some really great art with them. Um, and I love pulling those out. And then what I do is I copy, like I just practice. I practice my writing, I, I find a design that I like, and I do it. I take a ballpoint pen, nothing fancy. That's the whole point. That, remember I said I overcomplicate things sometimes? This is not, this is not that. I just grab my pen, I grab my journal, and I just write. So let me show you this is my, this is my, I love this, I love the leather on this, but um, I, I write in here, I write my stories, I write my, all my stuff in here, but it's also the place where I, like I said, I will grab just one of my fun books that I have that has illustrations and great um, script. Um, I just have all kinds of these. I pick them up whenever I'm out, but look at how, how cool is that? And so a lot of times I will just, from this, I will copy it onto something like this. This was on another, uh, page of a book for a quote. Um, and it's just, I'll just copy something. I'll find the be strong and, you know, I'll just do that. And so... Um, I just grab a, a ballpoint pen. Where is my... I have a favorite ballpoint pen. <laughs> I found it. It's um, Sarasa Dry. I don't know. It's got these little clippies. It's like a clip. Um, and I can, I can just clip it onto my page. And so I will 
you know, sometimes I'll, when I start writing, when I start doodling, I start getting, um, I will, you know, kind of pour out what's going on in my head. Sometimes I don't. Sometimes I just copy the quote and just do some doodles. And that is the best, the best thing for me. I mean, I just, it empty, it, it's just like mindlessness, but it's centering. And in this, I get ideas. I get inspiration. I get all kinds of all kinds of things. And so, I um, I saw that I was I saw this quote, and I was kind of doodling it out this morning. And I thought that would be a really cute journal page. So this is my inspiration for my journal page today. And that's how simple it can be. It can be just a simple quote, and then I copy, like for the for this in this book. Look at how, look at this book. This is how many times I've used it in all my projects. Um, this is a everyday happiness book. It is a great quote book, but it's got great patterns on the side. And so sometimes I'll just draw out the pattern. Or I'll just do circles. Like I just started doing, let's see, there was one in here. Where was it? I, I never go in order. I always kind of skip around. I just kind of plop open the book. And so, uh, see, I started doing, there was triangles. And I started making triangles. And then I th was like, oh, it kind of looks like a banner. And then I kind of went crazy. And I started doing all kinds of things. And then I was like, it looks like a celebration. And then I, you know, from there, celebrate today with laughter, cake, and rest. That was my message to me because, you know, it was it's my birthday month. And so, like, just the act of, like, I started drawing triangles because I saw triangles on the page, one of these pages. Um, and then from there, I was like, oh, it looks like a banner. Then it looks like a celebration. Oh, let's celebrate today with laughter, cake, and rest. I'm mean, like, that's like the best, best day ever. And then I drew candles and flowers. I mean, with my ballpoint pen, period. Say so all of this is ballpoint pen. And so um, our inspiration doesn't have to be this monumental movement. I mean, it can be. But sometimes we need just like brainless time in our journal to just doodle away and have it not be um, anything fabulous. And which brings me to this quote, good people are good because they've come to wisdom through failure. And while I don't like the word failure, um, what I think I, I like to use the word um, trial and error, uh, and not even mistakes, because I, I mean, I guess we make mistakes in our art, but it's always such a learning process. So if I could reframe that, good people are good because they've come to wisdom through learning experiences. I like that better instead of failure, um, because it's never quite a failure to me. And as I was thinking about that, I thought good artists are good because they've come to wisdom through their learning process, through their mistakes, through their mindless journaling, through their messy pages, through the pages that don't work out. Um, that is how we hone our skills. That's how we learn. That's how we grow. And so as I was mindlessly finding inspiration and just uh, these pages are so calming to me and I'm always inspired afterwards with my ballpoint pen and my journal. So inspiration can come in so many different ways. It's just the act of doing something, something instead of scrolling on our phones or watching TV or something like that. Sitting down, I just, I just turn my chair around, grab a book off my shelf and go, that's how it starts. And then maybe I see a word and I go, oh, live every moment. That's, a, that's great. So then I grab another one. I'm like, I wonder if there's a live every moment. Oh, yeah. Oh, and then I see, I see the, the writing. And I'm like, oh, that's really cool. I want to practice that. I mean, it just one thing after the other. So 
that's what happened today in my um, time at my desk as I was preparing to think about what I was going to do for Sunday Inspiration. So, um, my inspiration is my is this page here and it is good artists are good because they've come to wisdom through learning opportunities. <laughs> I like that better than failure because it's not failure. So um, I wanted to share that with you that um, inspiration happens in so, so many ways, but it takes us showing up. All right, so down here I have, let me just tell you what I have done already. I have um, put down my papers. I just randomly cut up a bunch of scraps that were on my desk and um, I put them down with fluid map medium and I wasn't planning, I wasn't thinking, that, that's the whole point of this journal page, is because when we don't have inspiration, um, you show up and you just do what you think, what you feel comfortable with, just do it. And so putting down papers is something that I feel comfortable with. And then the next thing that I did was I um, put some gesso over the top. Uh, I used my palette knife and I just, you know, went to town. Nothing fancy, nothing special. I just covered that with um, gesso, with my regular gesso. I pounced into it with my palette knife to give it a little bit more texture because, you know, texture is good and that's what I'm comfortable with. And then once that was dry, then I came back and I did an umber wash with raw umber. That is, this, this right here is my signature starting place when I don't know what else to do. And so, again, that's what we can do as we are needing to find inspiration, needing to find something to create, not knowing where to start. Start where you're comfortable. Start with the things that you love the most. Start there. Start somewhere. And so I always, like when I, like today, when the tank is empty and I don't know what to create, I'm starting with the things that I, that I know and love. And I've done what you just saw a thousand times. This is a thousand times I've done this over and over. This is, I, this is one of my favorite bases for creating. So now, as we're here, and this is all ready to go, I want to kind of recreate somewhat, um, where's my, this one. I want, I, I'm going to put a flower, and then I want to write this out, I want to hand write this out, and I I think I'm like so many where I don't um, like my handwriting, but I've been practicing, and that's our, that good artists are made, or what's, what's my quote? Good people, good artists are good because they've come through wisdom, come to wisdom through practice. There we go, not failure, through practice. Um, I'm gonna write that down. Through practice. Yes, that's the quote. So, um, that's all I know. I have this stencil. I actually, from last week, I did um, tissue paper. And I honestly thought, ooh, could I? Could I use that? I could. I could. thought about this one. Could I use that one? And I still might audition it. Like, I still might... Let's just, let's just see. I think I want, I want it simpler. This is drama. This is, I can't wait to use this one. Okay, so I'm going to just go with a simple stencil because I want it to be simple, quick, easy. Don't overthink it. So I've got my um, wildflower stencil out here, which is one of my favorites, and I'm going to use that. I'm going to extend my um, 
stencil up here and kind of elongate my stems and put my quote in here and then kind of do some color over here. Very simple. This will probably be the quickest and simplest journal page you may have ever seen me do. So um, that's my plan for my journal page and um, I wanted to share more inspiration ideas with you and um, see, let's see what happens in today's journal page. All right, so let's get creating. Okay, I've got my writing down and um, I am pulling out all my favorite colors. Again, no overthinking, no terror, like large decision making skills here. When you don't have inspiration, do what you love. Um, pull the colors that you love. Um, don't make it more difficult than it needs to be. So I have pulled out here um, Burnt Sienna. Quinacridone magenta, cobalt teal, a little bit of green gold. I've got a little bit of this red violet, so pretty. And I was trying to figure out, okay, should I throw in some Mars violet? Should I opt out for the burnt sienna and do Mars violet? I might, I might do that. And then I've got a little bit of cerulean blue hue. I almost, I might, you know, I'm going to change that and go with my Payne's gray. Those are, this, these are like, no brainers for me and so that's what I'm going to do and I'm just doing some I'm doodling I'm that's really pretty much all I'm doing I'm showing up I'm doing something I'm creating something and just enjoying the process not overthinking it which I, I can overthink things in like a second so I'm, I don't, I'm not worried about this making sense or it being a like masterpiece or anything. I just want to be here in the space and create.
And part of why I do this and just show up without any clue of what I want to do, something happens in here. So I could be doing something and I could have a color palette that I may not have used together before and um, realize this is fabulous. There's always something that happens in the creative process. Always, always, always. I'm always learning something. Like these three colors together? Yes, please. That is red violet. That is Mars violet and quinacridone magenta. Lovely. And I'm gonna go with some teal. Let's see. I'll do the dark one in the middle. My pups, ooh, here. My pups always like to be on camera. They're always somewhere in a video or in a workshop or something. Okay, so I love that overlap of those colors, that teal over the, um, so I kind of want to, to maybe, should I bring the color out here more? Like, bring it over here? kind of like that. A little bit more over here. Maybe I could bring some color over here. See, this is this is what happens. This is where it starts. Okay, then I will do some green gold. I love green gold with these colors. Is that good? Oh, I bet these two would be great overlapped. That violet. Mm, pretty. And then Payne's gray needs to happen in here somewhere, right? Should I do it up here? Probably. a bright orange in there. Yeah, let's do bright orange. That's really bright. <laughs> I'm not sure I like that. Okay, so what if I add some Mars Violet to that? I get burnt sienna. Well, there. There you go. Okay, that's better. All right, now I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do more. I'm going to do the same color combination here. Some quinacridone magenta. Kind of overlap that. Now see, those colors are pretty together. And then some teal. So I'm using a majority of flat paint with the exception of my Nova color. Do I need another color in here? 
Do should I put some green in there? What should I do? What should I do? Some violet? I'll let that sit for a second. Do I want to bring hmm. I'm just gonna see for a second. I kind of like that. See, I'm just playing now. I'm just enjoying myself and having fun. That's the whole point. All right, loves, we're almost done with this journal page and um, super simple. That's all I wanted it to be. Show up and not overcomplicate things. Um, I wanted to show you, um, you know, another way to find inspiration. And um, that's what I've done today. And that I mission accomplished, right? And um, I love being able to practice like this. I love being able to let go and not think and not overthink and just let it be simple especially when um, I'm longing or needing inspiration. And, it's some, and that happens, you know, that, that's just life. You know, we get so, so busy. There's so many things to do. It's, it's just a normal part of being creative. Um, but 
doing small things, um, the practice of showing up will help us um, create, will help us do something. And that's the whole point. Um, I'm going to go ahead and finish up my journal page now. I've got just a couple of things. I'm going to add a few more marks. I'm going to add a little bit of shading with some charcoal pencil and um, we're going to call it done. I do want to remind you that today, by the time you see this video, there will only be one more day left for the early bird pricing for the Rustic Road, my newest workshop. Um, there's only one more day for that. And um, then I also want to tell you that um, I am so glad that you were here Sunday after Sunday. I'm thankful for your emails and for your encouragement and for your birthday wishes and all of those things. You guys enrich my life so much and I want to give back to you as much as possible. And so um, being able to show up even when it's crazy and share with you some of my practices, um, thats uh, I think that's a win for a Sunday inspiration. Nothing deep. Um, and inspirational. I love our quote though. Our lo I love good artists are good because they've come to wisdom through practice. And that is what we did today. That's what I did today. I practiced. I practiced something new. I practiced. I did stuff that was not, I didn't have to overthink it. I didn't have to think too hard. I just did what I loved and I played. And I just kind of created mindlessly. And that is exactly what I needed and sometimes that's that's the whole point um, all right my loves I hope I'm gonna finish this up um, and I hope you enjoyed today's video and um, I hope that you always always know that you are loved